next uh, item that comes up, or the next discipline that comes up in the, in the test, is the writing. Uh, now this is uh, a one hour test, and this one is a bit more of a challenge, because it actually requires the student to produce two essays in one hour. The first essay is 150 words, and the second essay is 250 words. Now those are not very long essays, so this, this is more of a challenge. And a lot of our training for this is geared more towards the, the, the writing than it is to the listening and the reading. Um, we find that this is something that we can provide much more value uh, to the students for. So the tests are all sort of in, a, in some form of written form. They're, they are uh, either the listening, the reading or the writing, all, all performed with pen and paper, or pencil and paper. And they are all always conducted on the same day. But normally the speaking is conducted on a separate day. So you can be, for the first three components, you will be sitting in a large room uh, with a lot of other students all performing the test at the same time. But when it comes to the speaking, it's a one-on-one -on -one with, uh, with the examiner. So obviously you are in a room only with the examiner um, and they ask you questions, you respond to the questions and you provide information, more information about yourself. Um, and again, this is something that we find uh, a lot of the students, um, not, I wouldn't say they struggle so much, but they have to overcome nervousness or, or a lack of confidence. Um, and this is something we find causes that students, although they've got a good knowledge of, of English, they haven't used it in the form of writing and they haven't used it in the form of speaking to foreigners. And very often the examiners will be foreigners. So they tend to get a bit tense and a bit nervous. So again, a large part of our focus is in getting used to speaking to foreigners, getting used to the types of questions that you're going to be tested on, and uh, actually going through the exam repeatedly until um, you know, there's, no, there's no longer any surprise or any shock or any lack of confidence that you become competent at answering those questions. So just to sum up briefly at the end here. So there are three tests overall. There's the general training, academic, an academic UKVI, just the, the straightforward academic test. Then you have four disciplines. First up, you've got the listening, then you have the reading, then you have the writing, and on another day, you will do the speaking. So th that is the test that you have to, um, that you have to complete. Um, just like to say one other thing about the, uh, about the term passing the test. So strictly speaking with IELTS, there is no pass or fail with the test. You don't pass the test or fail the test. What IELTS does is it, it gives you uh, a level. It says you are at this level.